Hi and welcome to Jewels of Judaism. I'll be sharing with you a brief commentary on this week's Torah portion. My name is Daniel Goldstein. This week's Torah portion is called Tetzaveh and it's found in Exodus 27:20 through Exodus 30:10. Now the main focus of this week's Torah portion is the priesthood. The priesthood was sort of like the mafia. Uh, it was a family-run business. Uh, it was only Aaron and his sons, his descendants, who could who could serve in the priesthood. And the priesthood had a very specific function within the tabernacle and later the temple service. They, they were to handle the burning of the incense on the altar of incense. They were to handle the um, lighting of the menorah, as well as the sacrifices. Um, it was only the priests who could do these things. Now, when it was just Aaron and his sons, uh, they had plenty of work to do. However, as the family grew through the generations, there became more and more priests and not enough work for all the priests to fulfill. So, we see later in the reign of King David that uh, King David and two of the priests divided up the priesthood into 24 divisions. Now, we see an example of this division of the priesthood in the New Testament. Um, in the book of Luke, we have an example of Zechariah the priest, who was from the division of uh, Avia. Now, the interesting thing about this certain priest, Zechariah, is that he was chosen to actually go into the temple to to burn the uh, incense on the altar of incense. And the actual burning of the incense was actually a, a very honored responsibility within the priestly service. In fact, it was so honored, a priest only had the opportunity once in his lifetime to be chosen to go into the temple. So when we read about Zechariah going into the temple in Luke chapter one to burn the incense, it was a once in a lifetime experience. Now, there, I go into much greater detail uh, on the commentary on my website that you can check out at jewelofjudaism.com under the title, The Sign of the Priesthood. I just want to focus on one aspect of the sign of the priesthood. Um, and that is, I mentioned that there was 24 divisions and that Zechariah was from the 8th division. Now, in First Chronicles 24, we have a listing of those 24 divisions. And in that list, I want to read to you the 8, 9, and 10, um, where it talks about the certain divisions here. It mentions that, Zachar um, it says the 8th division is the division of, of Yehul, the ninth is the division of uh, Yeshua, and the 10th was the division of Shechem Now those names in Hebrew have, have rich meaning. Av uh, Aviyah, the first um, division means the Lord is my father or my father the Lord the next division the ninth is Yeshua Yeshua salvation which is also the name of Jesus and the tenth division is Shechem Yahu which means the Lord dwells or the Lord dwelled now within these three back-to-back -back names of the divisions numbers 8 9 and 10 you can look at it in your Bible in 1st Chronicles 24 verses uh, 10 and 11, we see God the Father, we see the Messiah, Yeshua, and we see a representation of the Holy Spirit and God dwelling. It is no mistake that these three names of the divisions of the priesthood are back to back in 1 Chronicles 24, and it's no, it's no coincidence that Zechariah was from that first division, the eighth division. Uh, uh, the Lord is my Father. There's a clear sign in the priesthood of the Messiah and also of the Godhead. Now to read my full commentary on this week's Torah portion, I recommend going to my website or continuing if you're already on my website at jewelsofjudaism.com under the title, The Sign of the Priesthood. Shabbat Shalom.